Hi everyone, Hadi Femi Brits here again. And without any further ado, let's get on the sprint and continue from where we left off. So on our sprint and where we left off from the last episode was that the account number wasn't coming the way we want it to be. So we can verify on the screen as you can see. So I'm going to start from there by resolving that. So what we expect for an account number is just a string. So we can come back to our backend. So here's our backend and I've scrolled or rather I've navigated to the user.go because we've done this in the past already. So here is the structure for that. And now we want to do the same thing for account.go. And in the case of the user.go, we are able to pull this off having this in the same folder as user.go because it's not much. However, if we come down to the account.go, you see that we've written quite a lot already. And adding this here as well will kind of make things unnecessarily bogus. So what I would like to do is to create a new file for this. So I'll have this as account underscore format dot group. And rather than inventing all the wheels from the beginning, I'm going to come down to user.go and just copy everything from here. Or rather, this this is what we need. This is what we want to transform. So I'll copy this, come down here and paste. So yeah, first thing first, we need to give this a package and um, it's going to be package API, just as we have with others. And here we're going to rename things. So this becomes account response. This becomes account response as well. Same with this. And maybe we want to turn this to A, but I don't think that really matters. We can leave it as that. And this will become to account response as well. Then finally, we need to import DB. So let's get access to it. And we need to change this to account. So the next thing we need to do is to locate the account structs and copy all that we have here. So we come back here and paste. And we just change things that needs to be changed. And all we need to change here is just the string. And also we need to import time. All right. Also, let's return the account response here. And we are almost there. And here we want to format things the right way. So ID is correct. Let's have everything placed at well. So user ID, balance, currency, created at, and the account number, which is just this. So also this is still user. It has to be account to make sure that things are done properly. All right, so we have all that set. So now we can come back to our account and use this instead of sending the regular account. So if we come back to the create account, which we worked on in the last episode. So instead of sending our account this way, we can instead use the, um, let's look for the name again, account response. So we have account response. We are going to initialize it. Then to account response, then we send the pointer to our account and that's all we need to do. But this is only useful for when we create an account. Currently what we have on our screen is getting accounts and this is the function to add with that. So here we are returning accounts and compared to, okay, we have to fix this. This has to be a capture letter because we are accessing from a different um, point. So this would be to account response. So in regards to handling multiple accounts, we've done this in the users as well. So if we try to list out users, let's see here. And here is what we did. So we created a new array and draw this. So we can instead create a new function to undo this on the account format. So here we can have song. So it's going to inherit from the same account response or we are attaching it to account response and this will be to account responses and i'm open copilot with help us which it did so as you can see we have it here 
And yeah, this light pro pilot is doing is going beyond its means here, actually. So we have the basic structure to account responses. It takes in multiple accounts and it returns multiple account response. And also we create in an array of length of the account received. However, the difference here is that we don't want to do this whole thing from scratch. We already have a function that handles single account. So all we have to do is send that to it. So we have account responses into i equals to u dot to account response. Then we have account i. So this is much more cleaner. And we can save, come back to account.grow and look for get accounts. So now here we can have account response and to responses and we save it. So that's the fix we need to add. So let's confirm if this is working by going to the front end. And let's refresh. Okay, we are logged out. So let's log in. Okay, we are back in. And now when we refresh, we don't have the account again. And here if we verify, we'll see that the account number is coming as a string, which is what we want. Now we can come back to the front end. Here, here is the account and we'll fix this. So all we need to do is change this to a string like that and also update the card like that. So let's confirm if this is working. And voila, we have the account number already, which confirms that it's working. So before we move on to the next step, which is to prepare our sending money process, let's quickly clean up some stuff on the front end. So if you come back to the front end, here we have it. So we want the account card to belong to its own component. Also, we have a type file. So we have a file where all our types reside. So we also want this to be there. So let's cut this out. And let's come down to the source under utils. Then we'll look at types. So here we can paste this in, we save. And now we can re-import it here. So import account type and we agree on that. And for the account card, this should have its own components so that it will be reusable wherever we need to. So we'll prop this as well, save. We come down to the components under common. We we'll create a new file for account card. And in here we can paste this and we can return default. So export default account card like that. So we need to import some stuff. Card, then the account type. And in the case of the format currency, I think we don't need to do all we are doing on the account side by converting to an amount or so. We can just use the balance directly. So I'll return this and import the account cards because we have it now. And it looks like our account is cooler now. So we can remove what we are not using. Cool. So we save this. Now back to the account card. So instead of doing all this, we can just have the props dot balance. Then we we'll convert it to a string. So also we need to import the format currency. And that's all we have to do in regards to this. So this is much more cleaner now. And we still have one more place we need to fix and it's within our oops. So use add money or add accounts. Yeah, here. So we can remove this and we can import account type from the types. And yeah, we have fixed everything. So we can come back to our browser to confirm if everything is still working because we need to ensure that everything is still working before we proceed to the next step. And as we can confirm, everything is still working. So the next thing we want to work on is in regards to the send money. And the flow here is that we have the send money button just beside the add money. And when you click it, it's going to show up in modal where you can add your account number. 
And the expectation is that it's going to resolve that account number to find who is associated with that account number. So yeah, let's get started with that. So for this, I'm going to be using or uh, consulting the shared UI library. So here it is. And we'll access the components. And the components we are looking for is the dialog components. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to need this later on. So let me just zoom in so that we see this properly. So this is the dialog component and it's what we are going to need. But before we get here, let's, or rather, we can actually copy this for now. So I'll copy this whole construct. Come back to my front end. Yep. So down to the oops, just like we have with the add uh, morning or get add morning. Let's confirm that. So here is the get add money oak. And here is it here, use add money. So we want to create a use send money oak as well. So let's do that. New file use send money dot TSS. And we can use our AFCE to just initialize the structure, which is this. And now I want to create a function called get send money. So const get send money like this. And it's great to return the dialogue content we just copied. So here we can have return and we paste what we copied like that. However, we still need to import all this. And instead of trying to import this individually, we can just come back to the browser and copy the imports here. So we copy this, come back to our code, and we paste. All right, so that looks good already. Okay. So the next thing is to define the send button. So here we're going to have button from our UI button, and we have send money like that so this is going to be our trigger it's quite straightforward so we have uh, we can format this like that also we can modify the title we can change this to send money and the description can be sending money made easy so you can put whatever you want to i think that's left for you so the next thing you want to do within the dialog content is to have a form and within our form we are going to make use of our label input component so if you've been following along and you have the code um, in access you will notice that we've introduced some components and label input is one of the components and it's just to abstract the whole input flow and within here we can have the label props if we've imported the label input, if not, so let's import it first so that it makes IntelliSense easy. So we have label props and this takes in children and the children is the name of the um, label. So account number, then it takes in the input props. Uh, for the input props, we are going to have the name as account number as well. Then finally, we need an ID, which can also be account number. Then we can close this up. Then we can format to after it's shown well. So this is all we need for now. We are still making preparation, so we are still going to extend it later. So after defining all this, we can return the send money function or get send money function like that. Okay, so that's our definition for now. Now we can come back to the accounts. We can import it. So here we have costs. This equals to use send money. Like that. And here we have send or get send money. Again, we format to have this displayed well. And finally, we will replace this with a new function get send money so for now it doesn't take anything so when we get to extending this then we would improve on that so let's see what this um gives us so if we come back to our browser come back to this and now we have the send money um button 
So we don't need the inspection again. So if you click on this, we have this. So send money, send money made easy. You can click out to remove that. I can click this to close as well. So this is looking good. So we need to add our button to this, the send button. So let's do that and see how it goes. So you send money, come down here, add button. So we have sent and we can quickly add some styling to the button. So empty can be seven and we want the width to be full. So width full. So we save and let's check our browser once more. So there we have it. And just to make sure that this is as short as possible so that we can grab every part of the episodes, I'm going to round up here. So in the next episode, we are going to continue from here and focus on resolving the account number. So this is going to involve us creating a new migration such that we can verify if an account number belongs to this um, institution. So uh, there you have it, guys. I'll be rounding up here and see you in the next episode. Bye for now.